Hey everybody, this is Carl from CarlsHappyTea.com here with another tutorial and today I thought I'd make a video about Python lists. So what exactly is a list in Python? Well, it's simply just a collection of values in brackets separated by commas using speech marks as string values. So over here, uh, we've defined a variable as cake list because these are ingredients for a cake uh, within square brackets to indicate that it's a list. We've now got our string values of flour, milk, eggs, chocolate and icing. And the first thing we're going to do is just simply print this out. So print, there we go. The next thing we can go ahead and do is let's say we wanted to find out whether a specific value actually was within the list. So we just wanted to see whether a particular um, ingredient lies in this list. So let's say we want to see if eggs is in the list. Now what this basically shows is we're trying to find out a specific um, value and we're trying to and we're using the function in which just basically tries to tell us whether it's in something or not and this is our variable. So if we go ahead and print this we're going to find out whether eggs is in the list and it is of course it's true. Now this is a boolean statement um, and which just says yes or no now or says true or false sorry. Now, if you were to put a different variable, a different variable in, such as chicken, then what's going to happen is when we run the module, it's going to come out as false because chicken does not lie within this list. Now, after doing this, another thing we can sort of get onto is um, we can try to locate specific values or we can try to locate um we can locate specific ingredients using your index values so we're trying to find out what ingredients will lie at um index value 3 for example now the way we can do this is we type in print and then you open your brackets put in your variable um so cake list and then in square brackets, we're going to find out what lies at the third um, index value. Now it says here chocolate. Now what this is showing you, as you can see here, it's actually a fourth. But your index values, if you understand what arrays are, it will show you that it starts off, your first value is actually zero. And then it moves up in chronological order in ones. So it's going flour is zero, milk is one, eggs is 2, chocolate is 3, and icing is 4. Now again looking at arrays what we can do is uh, within the list is what we can we can find out specific letters within the list as well. So I'm going to have print cake list and we've already let's just go with 3 anyways because we know that's chocolate. Now let's say we wanted to find out what the fourth or the fourth um, index value within the third value of the cake list was. So what this is going to show us is it's going to be O. So within chocolate over here which is our third index value we have 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and that's the index value within the word chocolate. Um, another thing we can do with this is we can um, go print and we can have um, starting oh, cake list cake list we can start list from one and then we can go so this is milk so if we were to start off using zero and then a colon what this is going to show us is going to start off at m and it's going to give us all the values after m until the end or well, actually let's start this at one just to make it a bit more clear so if i go run this module oops if we were to close the bracket Okay, so I get ilk because um, I'm saying that I want everything from the first value onwards 
or from the first index value, which is i. So if I started it from zero, I'd get the entire word milk. If I started it from the second value, I'd get the letters l and k. Third letter, if I put the third index value, I'd just get the letter k. Um, another thing we can do is we can go ahead and type in print again, and we can... Mm, yeah, another thing we can do actually is let's say we want to let's define a new variable. So let's say we're going to have new cake list, or just call it cake. Cake one, and this is going to incorporate our initial cake list. So cake list. Now let's say we only wanted the ingredients flour, eggs, and icing. The way we can do this is by simply using a square bracket and putting one colon colon two. What this is going to show us is it's going to go ahead and start from our oh no, in fact let's go zero. Yeah. So this is going to start from our first um, from our initial index value as flower, which is zero, and then it's going to jump to each time. So it's going to go flower, eggs and icing. So let's go ahead and print Cake one, and there you go. It says here flowers, eggs, and icing. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and add in a new variable, so let's say suddenly I had a genius idea and I thought, oh, let's add in strawberries. Okay, so what I can do is I can go ahead and add in strawberries. Yeah. Now, what this is simply going to do is it's just going to add in strawberries at the very end. It's going to keep the list the same, however, strawberries is just going to come in at the end. So, um, there we go. So you've got flowers, eggs, icing, and strawberries there. Now, the final thing we can do is we can also um, remove certain items from a list, assuming we don't want them to be there. So another simple thing we can do is go ahead and type in cake1.remove. And now let's say we realized, okay, we tried strawberries, but we really didn't like it. We don't really want it there anymore. So we can go ahead and just type in, remove, um, cake one dot remove in, in brackets, we're gonna put in strawberries in inverted commas. And now we're gonna print off cake one again, and it's gonna simply be gone. There you go. So flowers, eggs, and icing is now gone. Oh, strawberries is now gone from the list. So that's like a little insight into about how you can actually use or how you can start to make basic lists. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can start to make more complex lists as well as how we can um, put them into more of a list format rather than leaving it in the horizontal format that it's currently in. Uh, I'm Carl from carlsapsy.com. Thank you very much for watching.